My favorite author is probably Audre Lorde uh, because she isn't just an author but also an activist and I think a lot of her time and talent she also used it to challenge classism, racism, homophobia and I think it's super important for artists to also have values that they are deeply aligned with and they kind of like project into the work that they're doing. Well, it's kind of hard for me to pick a favourite novel, but the novel I'm currently reading is Girl, Woman, Other by Bernadine Evaristo. It's this really wild, polyphonic, unapologetically queer and feminist book about the lives of um, British women um, on the periphery, but she manages to bring them into the centre, so I really love that. It would be a toss-up between Berlin and New York. Uh, I think they both have this very liberatory, live and let live energy that I really love. But I feel like New York is more of this like high octane crazed city, whereas like Berlin has a more like chillax bro kind of vibe. So it's gonna be hard to choose between the two. <laughs> you have to pick one. Um, if I have to pick one, I think um, New York will be sort of sugar daddy vibes and then um, Berlin will be like in the summers when play play. <laughs> oh wow, I think it would have to be the Usia films that I saw as a kid growing up here in Singapore on late night Channel 8 TV. Films like Sui Hats are Bai Fa Mo Nui, Ting She. And I think that they really imprinted upon my cultural memory as a kid and it's stuff that I carry through with me no matter where I am. So it's a quote from Audre Lorde and she says, If I didn't define myself for myself, I would be crunched up into other people's fantasies for me and eaten alive. Oh wow, um, I mean I'm really like a low-key girl so I think being abroad makes me really miss local fare. So Sui Chun is like a go-to place because I'm also a night owl and it actually features uh, in my new novel. So. So Zwiebel Fish in Berlin is this really old school bar where you can find like German locals just having a pint and they also make this incredible onion soup so I love it. Just having returned from Berlin, there are so many amazing nightlife spots but I think one that I really love, it's called Ohm, O-H-M and it's an offshoot of Tresor which is this like legendary techno club but at Ohm you can hear this really more avant-garde producers and selectors and I also really love the parties that Syndicate in Singapore throws so I'm always there no matter where it is. My favourite film would have to be The Bitter Tears of Petra von Kant by Reina Werner Fassbinder. So the last thing I saw that left an impression on me was beef. Uh, I think it's so incredibly acted and it also allowed these Asian protagonists to not have to play Asian in a certain kind of way and it was just about their rage and also sort of the various multifaceted parts of what it is to be a human living in relation to other humans. So I love that. My favourite holiday would have to be Mid-Autumn Festival because it's just so festive in a way that's so authentic and it's also really close to my Chinese birthday and I love the myth of Chang'e Penyue, this lady floating to the moon. Well, this was some time ago because I wrote Ministry of Moral Panic in my 20s but I think the line goes, the deaths, tiny ones, false ones, real ones that we undertake in the name of love are the closest that we ever come to greatness. Well, it's just this very simple four words used to describe Marlena Dietrich, uh, who's one of the characters in The Late Rays of a Star, and it says, Bitch, please, nakla. So it's actually something that's appropriated from the Heart Sutra, and it says, The body itself is emptiness. Emptiness itself is this body. So Sister Snake is a super contemporary reimagination of the ancient Chinese folktale, Legend of the White Snake and it reimagines the white snake character as a conservative politician's wife here in sunny Singapore and the green snake character as a sugar baby living this nihilistic life in New York. So their lives converge and clash and stay tuned, look out for it sometime later this year.